Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm Greg. Welcome back to the VTOL UAV project. It's been an exciting week. The aircraft has had a fire, has had an explosion, and has had its maiden flight. The uh, fire was quite interesting. I was testing the direction of the motors with the props off, and one of the ESCs, the electronic speed controller, exploded, caught fire. Um, why wasn't I using a smoke stopper, you ask? I was using a smoke stopper, but I, but the, for the wrong reason. I was using it because I really liked the on-off switch. It allowed me to cycle power easily on the uh, aircraft. But once I started spinning the motors, the, uh, the system would pull too much current, and I took this out. And immediately, um, one of the motors speeds got away from me, and the ESC went up in smoke. It actually went up in fire. I'll show you some pictures of the uh, damage to the wing and the airframe. A little bit of excitement there. I also had another explosion. Uh, one of the uh, recommendations that was given to me was to put a capacitor on the ESC right at the ESC um, on the power lines. Well, I put a 25 volt, uh, 100 microfarad capacitor, thinking that that was enough margin, as the uh, power supplied to it was 14 volts. But uh, obviously that wasn't enough margin, and one of the capacitors exploded with quite a loud pop. <laughs> Another exciting moment in uh, aircraft testing. All right, well, let me give you a quick tour of the uh, aircraft now that it's been assembled. In the last episode, we built the fuselage, and in this episode, we'll put all of the systems inside, integrate the flight controller, and go for the maiden flight. All right, let's take a look at the aircraft. I added an 8th inch plywood internal structure inside the fuselage for extra stiffness. Here I'm drilling a whole row of holes as I'm not sure exactly where I want my battery clamp to go until I get the CG set. This is what it looks like before it's mounted into the fuselage. This is a close up view of the motor mount for the tail boom motor. I had an interference problem where the tail boom hit the screws mounting the motor. I had to tweak the design a little bit to get them out of the way. So here we can see the internal structure of the aircraft. Inside the fuselage, we've got some eighth inch plywood doublers. And the front nacelle for the motor is connected to the main wing spar. And of course, the tail boom motor is on a bracket here, sitting to the, attached to the tail boom. The wings are held in place with a couple of nylon screws shown here. The Speedy B wing flight controller is mounted in the rear fuselage. This is a nice unit for this application. I've got RDO Pilot 4.4 loaded on it with Steven's parameter file. And here is a before picture of the ESC and then the aftermath. Fire is never funny, but the ESC got so hot all the little parts started falling off and I found a bunch of them on the table underneath the incident. Fortunately, I was doing all of my testing out in the backyard. I guess the moral of the story is to use your smoke stopper. And here are a couple pictures of the exploded capacitor. In the end, I just took them out of the circuit. The airplane is ready for its maiden flight. Everything is installed. You can see the flight computer installed down in here. We've got a battery strap holder here. The cells, the servos are all mounted. Got these little covers that I made. We still don't have any elevator or ailerons yet. That'll be in the next iteration. Some magnets hold the lid on, GPS. We flip it over. A lot of the wiring is exposed here. Remnants of a fire. I think later I'd like to route these wires through the nacelle and in through the foam so you don't see these. The aileron servo will be mounted in here. Okay, well let's Try to fire this up and fly it.
Congratulations, first flight, and any landing you can walk away from is a good one. Once I realized it required a very light touch, it was very easy to fly and hover. Up next, let's put the elevator and ailerons and go fly it as an airplane. Hey, I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting the project. Until next time, take care.